Exotics are the most sought after gear in the game. They're usually the best, look the coolest, and they always drop with a higher power level than your current average. You may just want to complete your collection if you're a completionist, or you may want to use them to power up to max level. But even if you don't want to keep your new exotics, you can still infuse them into legendaries using only shards and world materials rather than having to use enhancement cores. Which is pretty helpful because enhancement cores right now aren't the easiest to get. You'll also want to farm for each exotic so you can eventually get all the master or catalysts which augment the exotic perks or make them better in other ways. We'll go over how to farm catalysts in another video, but for right now, let's focus on how to get the exotics themselves. You can't get every exotic from an engram or a random drop. Some exotics can only be earned through quests or from raids. Others are random drops but only from certain sources. For example, the Lord of Wolves can only drop from spider wanted bounties. However, there are still many exotics you can get from just about anywhere randomly. The following exotics are the ones you can get from pretty much anywhere in the game through random drops as of the recording of this video. Black Talon, Cerberus Plus One, Queen Breaker, Thunderlord, unless you're watching this during Arc Week when the quest is up again, Two-Tailed Fox, Wave Splitter, which right now is actually for PS4 only, thanks a lot Bungo, The Huckleberry, Soros Regime, Crimson, Prometheus Lens, Telesto, Colony, Jade Rabbit, Borealis, Cold Heart, Darcy, Fighting Lion, Graviton Lance, Hard Light, Merciless, Risk Runner, Skyburner's Oath, Sunshot, Sweet Business, Prospector, Wardcliffe Coil, Tractor Cannon, Vigilance Wing, and every piece of exotic armor. There are only two ways to get these exotics. The first is from any Prime Engram drop that of course has a chance of dropping as an exotic instead, and the other is from weekly or daily milestones. If you want to know the best methods and most efficient methods to farm those Prime Engram drops, I already made a video explaining exactly that that I'm going to link here at the very top right of your screen in the info cards, as well as the description below. But in general, the two main ways to get these Prime Engrams to drop exotic or not are at the ends of Crucible matches or by beating challenging enemies out in the world. It's also worth mentioning that as I'm recording this video, the Arbalest is not yet available in the game, and when you're watching this, it may already be attainable. So make sure that you look that up separately because I won't have any way of knowing if it's a quest exotic, if it's just an RNG exotic, or what it is, or how to get it. As I mentioned before, there are some exotics that do drop randomly, but only from certain sources. So the following are those exotics and the activities you can drop them from. The Anarchy from the Scourge of the Past Raid, the Jotun from Bergusia Forge, the Lay Monarch from Gofanon or Izanami Forge, Lord of Wolves from Wanted Spider Bounties, and the 1000 Voices from the Last Wish Raid. And of course, any exotic that wasn't mentioned up to this point in the video is either a quest exotic or is not yet available in the game. Hopefully this made your search for the exotics a little bit easier, and if you have any extra questions or if you just want to talk about this a little bit more, tell me in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.